Not too long ago, a buddy of mine and I were out playing golf. I went to his golf course, which is about a half hour from here, played a round of golf. After the round, he owed me a beer. So we went upstairs, and while we were at the bar having a beer, a bunch of his buddies came over. Well, he's a farmer, and all his buddies are farmers. And next thing I know, they're talking about all this farming stuff. I'm not a farmer. I've never done farming. I have no idea about farming. It felt a little bit awkward for me to have them talking about farming. I like I'm not in the conversation because I have no clue what's going on. Have you ever found yourself in that situation? Maybe you went to a party, you were invited, you were brought with a friend, but you don't know anybody. Yeah, being awkward in a situation like that is not fun. The last thing we want is to have you as a speaker feel awkward with your audience and your audience to see you being awkward. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how do we develop a little bit of common ground so that the audience will see you as a, like a member of the audience uh, in, included in on the team, so to speak. So we want to build common ground. So there's a few different ways to build common ground. The chapter talks about this. Number one, use personal pronouns. So when we talk about things, we're going to say we, us, our personal pronouns. So we're in this together is basically what you're trying to say. Okay. Number two, you can ask rhetorical questions. What is a rhetorical question? A rhetorical question is a question which the response is assumed. You don't have to actually answer it out loud. So if I said, have you ever um, thought to yourself, geez, this is not a good situation. There it is. You don't have to respond back to me and go, oh yeah, I've thought about that. It's assumed that everybody's had a situation where they're like, oh, this isn't good, right? Hopefully that makes sense. And the last thing, that was a rhetorical question. Hopefully this makes sense. I'm thinking, yeah, it does make sense. Then down here, share common experiences. So in your speech, um, if I'm doing a speech on sleep deprivation, I'm gonna wanna do, tell a story about a time that I couldn't go to sleep and I ended up uh, the next day being very, very tired. I think we've all had a common experience where you couldn't go to sleep even though you really wanted to go to sleep and the next day you woke up tired. So that would be a common experience that we've all shared at some point, okay? So in your speech, use personal pronouns, ask rhetorical questions, and share common experiences, or in other words, tell stories that the audience members can relate to.